Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. Today, the date is 14th October. These are my details, you may go through it. If you want to download the PDF, then you can join our WhatsApp group or our Telegram channel. You can also contact us through our various platforms. I would also like to inform you about our IGP program, interview guidance program. So if you're interested, then you may kindly register. It is totally free of cost and it will be very, very beneficial for you. I'd also like to inform about our big billion offer. We are going to start the Pratyaksa batch. So this is going to be very happening. And also there is a very good discount going on. So please kindly reveal the offer. This is the contents page. So today we will be discussing on these topics. The first topic is the power of green methanol, which is a topic related to economy, environment, ecology, geography as well. So why was it in the news? So the Niti IO is exploring the use of green methanol in industries like rail, roads, and shipping. And it also suggests that it could partially replace LPG for cooking. The blending of 15% methanol in gasoline could reduce the import of gasoline crude oil by 15% itself. Okay. About methanol. So methanol ki hoy, so dear me sound then. It is a low carbon hydrogen carrier fuel. It is produced from high as coal, agricultural residue, carbon dioxide from thermal power plants, and natural gas. It is a colorless, flammable liquid, the simplest alcohol, and is used as an industrial solvent, antifreeze, and fuel as well. It is best known, it is best known for its alcohol fuel in racing cars. Okay. And racing cars and also as a feedstock for chemical and plastic production. It is also utilized in the production of biodiesel, a potential energy carrier for fuel in the fuel cell. Now green methanol. So what do you mean by green methanol? So green methanol, it is produced renewable and non-polluting. It is a low carbon liquid fuel that offers a promising alternative to fossil fuels. So in this today's world, we should definitely try our best to switch to, switch to other type of alternatives instead of using the conventional ones, okay? So benefits of using methanol. So methanol definitely offers several benefits like power, low production costs, lower flammability risk, environmental benefits, emission control, handling and transportation. And yes, high octane horsepower and versatile use. So high octane horsepower, it is that it can deliver equivalent horsepower to super high octane gasoline and is suitable for shipping, aviation and industrial electricity generation as well. Niti Ayagor Methanol Economy Program Kiki as Now, this is very important, particularly for your mains. Okay, so Kenneth Honor programs will like us a program of benefit ki hoi, objectives ki hoi. These are very, very important and definitely not only mains but pre cardinal important. Hoi. So, Niti Ayagor Jiti Methanol Economy Program hoi, it aims to reduce India's dependence on imported crude oil and petroleum products. Also, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and utilize local resources like coal reserves and municipal solid waste. The program actually aims to reduce the emissions by 20%, by 20% compared to the traditional fuels like gasoline and diesel and thereby improving the urban air quality. Other benefits are both benefits as like fuel diversification and job creation, job creation. Now, this is very important because the program is expected to create close to 5 million jobs, close to 5 million jobs through methanol production, application and distribution service and other allied service as well. Additionally, the program also aims to save consumers money by blending 20% dimethyl ether by blending 20% dimethyl ether in LPG, potentially saving rupees around 50 to 100 per cylinder, making clean cooking fuel more affordable. 
India Aru Kenan Honor initiative was it to boost the methanol economy. The first is MERP, Methanol Economy Research Program. And this is also very important. It was launched in 2015 by the Department of Science and Technology. Ohomar was it? Ohomar was it? So, Amar Zedu MERP, that is good. MERP and Methanol Cooking Fuel Program are initiatives in India aimed at boosting the methanol economy. Right. While Ohoma Jitu Petrochemicals MERSFP. Okay. MERSFP is the first canister based methanol cooking fuel program in, in, in entire Asia. Okay. So it is the first canister based methanol cooking fuel program. So this was this could be very important from your prelims point of view. Anyways, both the programs aim to provide clean, cost-effective, and pollution-free cooking mediums to households with a target of reaching 1 lakh households. Okay. So, quite a aim. All right, then. Uh, so, we have put here a MCQ question and also a means question for you to practice. So, please do practice. Center objects priority to money bill here. This is our next topic. The center objects priority to money bill theory. So obviously, who needs the money bill controversy? So this is related. This is a topic related to polity and governance. So let's have a look. Why was it in the news? So the central government objected to the Supreme Court's seven judge bench prioritizing the Roger Matthew versus South Indian Bank Limited. Now these terms are very important. South Indian Bank Limited and other cases which deals with the money bill. The case is now referred to a seven judge bench for hearing. The Supreme Court headed by Chief Justice D. Y. Chandrachur on 12th of October. It will take a call on petitioner's request to prioritize a reference concerning the center's crucial amendments. So let's see seven bands at a Bohimo, seven judge bands. So ultimately, at a whole other basis, I'm not probably I'm hope for it. And before that, I mean background. So the I mean check or background. So the I mean check or that you know the money bill controversy arose after the center passed the Aadhaar Act in 2016. So hopefully, I mean, I hope you all know. Or else, I mean, that's why I should hardly hear it. So the money bill controversy arose after the center passed the Aadhaar Act in 2016, which was introduced as a money bill. Due to government's lack of majority in the Rajya Sabha. Okay. So, Rajya Sabha, our Jito Amar money bill, Adhar bill, asile, Adhar bill to money bill, his ape pass for India. Okay. So, he took an Kishiman allegations Laga Missile. Tigase. So, Teneko allegations, Etia will in Hoa, Ago to Loga Gushi, two thousand and seventeen or to Loga Gushi. Okay. Two thousand nineteen or to Loga Gushi. So, Ago to Loga Gushi. So, that is our background. Two thousand nineteen or to Isa, seventeen or to Isa. So money bill hoy ki what constitutes a money bill? What do you mean by money bill? So a money bill it is a type of legislation in India that deals with specific financial matters outlined in Article 110 1A to G. Okay, the sub clause of the Indian Constitution. It is includes the taxation, government borrowing, and appropriation of money from the Consolidated Fund of India. Okay. Background again, the new architecture of some material. The money bills do not require Rajya Sabha consent. So Rajya Sabha consent is not mandatory. Okay. And Lok Sabha has the exclusive authority to pass or reject them. Okay. So Article 110, sub clause 3, it says that of the that the Constitution grants the Speaker's final decision on whether a bill is a money bill or not. Okay, so speaker ultimately decide Koribo. However, the Indian judiciary can review. Okay, however, the Indian judiciary can review and examine the speaker's decision for constitutional compliance. So that is what is happening right now. Okay, Supreme Court India interfere Kori. Okay. Hello. So procedure ki hai, money bill pass or procedure ki hai. So it is the missa, the money bills are government bills. Okay, the money bills are government bills. <clears throat> introduced by the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Okay. And Rajya Sabha tate, basically, power na thake, limited power thake. So, a recommendation to Jitu ase, 
so rajya sabha can reject or amend the bill okay but hote reject kore ba amend kore ki hote 14 days or bitor hetu kori bla return bill kori bolai okay within 14 days they will have to return okay with or without recommendations the lok sabha can accept or reject any recommendations made by the rajya sabha and also if the lok sabha accepts any recommendations the bill is considered to have passed by both the houses in the modified form okay so all about modification anibo tar pisod modified form of pass kori diya jabo but if, if the rajya sabha does not return the bill within 14 days it is considered to have passed by both the houses in the original form okay without any further modification original form of the pass hoy jabo jodi he rajya sabha he to suddha dinor bitor eku eta respond kori bole noy okay so eventually kami jodi saw tete hole the lok sabha has more power so greater powers as a lok sabha over the rajya sabha regarding money bills okay the president can give or withhold any assent to the bill but cannot return it for reconsideration as the bill is typically introduced without prior with sorry with prior permission okay with his prior permission so ultimately president of prior permission no pela he bill to introduce korbo pare so gotike president of pisot khurai dilo dilo ki ki korbo pare he will have to give the assent okay but he cannot return it now issues to the ami saw money bill related issues the first thing hoy gol evading scrutiny eto niki ate hoy ase so any kind of inspection and all hebur par basibor karane eto money bill or trade balance bills bilak pass korai diye and that is what is also our aadhar bill controversy okay now this question is very very important please do attempt it okay previous year question o amar yate diya ase so logote answer o diya ase so please have a look and try to remember the facts. So the third topic is about society, Indian society and social issues. So mental health and India's informal workers. So recently, our mental world mental health day goal on October 10th. So it would all over the world. It is celebrated. So why was it in the news? So it was celebration was I that about 15% of the working age adults, okay, 15% of the working age adults globally live with a mental disorder. Okay. So reasons will like here. Reasons are like poor working conditions, unemployment, workplace discrimination, and unsafe environments. Okay. So these are the things that can negatively impact a worker's mental health. Key findings, key findings like low pay, low payments, unrewarding or insecure jobs or working in isolation, expose workers to psychosocial risk, compromising their mental health. Aru, Amada survey is National Mental Health Survey on 2019. That are pro report that is really mind-boggling, which shows that 14% of the adults have or will have a mental condition okay 14 percent of the adults have or will have a mental condition with 56 million people suffering from depression and 38 million from anxiety disorders so what is mental health so balak balak definition as a so who is to our definition as a hit to the sound who defines mental health as a state of mental well-being that allows individuals to cope with life stresses, realize their abilities, and learn and work well, and contribute to the community at the same time. Mental health is a fundamental human right and a global issue requiring collective action. Informal works impact on mental health. Okay, informal works like lack of regulatory protection, unsafe working environments, long hours and uncertainty, limited access to social and financial protection. So these are very uh, easy going. So you can just go through it and you will definitely understand. Okay. So then again, <coughs> can you can our information be asked like, in India, the share of out of pocket expenditure in total health expenditure is 47.1%. Okay. Our census of India 2011 that shows that 33 million people Specifically, the elderly people are working post-retirement in informal work. Okay, 
so they are also susceptible to in ill mental health okay apart from that gender discrimination is definitely a factor youth unemployment shift to precarious work etc okay now this is the highlight highlighted thing. okay why because steps taken by the government government policies and schemes these are quite important hmm? so one such scheme is nmhp national mental health program it was implemented since 1982 so it was implemented since 1982 to address the mental disorders and shortages of professionals it modernized the state mental hospitals and upgraded the psychiatric wings of medical colleges general hospitals etc okay apart from that <clears throat> the mental health care act 2017 now this ensures access to the mental health care and treatment reduced section 309 ipc use and made suicide attempts punishable only as an exception okay so this is important now apart from that 2020 the ministry launched a 24 7 okay 24 7 toll free helpline me okay kiran bulikul okay kiran to support the individuals with to support the individuals with mental health concerns in 2021 the government launched manas okay manas are full form ki hoy mental health and normalcy augmentation system okay so please it all upon try kurba monotaki bakarne because and again abbreviations or courses both i think okay Okay. So, yar uh, logote amar eta previous year question da diya ase. So, after like ebar side labo, not one but two diya ase. Please go through it. Okay. The next is a economic topic like world economic outlook by IMF. Okay. So, why was it in the news? Because the IMF predicts that the Indian economy will expand more rapidly than anticipated in its navigating global divergence world economic outlook 2023 okay so i am of the prediction as a prediction to learn a news attention so globally so the amis out it all i am effective to predict for a second is the amis out it all that it have predicted that the global gdp growth of three percent in 2023 okay however similar to its july purpose however 2024 Growth has been reduced to 2.9 percent. So, July data forecast for is like 3 percent. Okay, I recently to question prediction for is that 2.9 percent will be reduced by the year of 2024. Okay, China got our question that the China's economy is expected to grow at 5 percent, 5 percent in 2023. 5% in 2023 higher than the 3 percent in 2022. So, increase her Okay. Now, apart from that, the IMF's October forecast for China's growth is 20-30 basis points lower than its July, July's projections, suggesting potential loss of momentum. Okay. Now, global inflation, that is how I global inflation, the global inflation is expected to rise at 5.8% in 2024, faster than the estimated 5.2%. Findings. It is India related Canada or findings. Just say it to the India's GDP for 2023 to 2024 is expected to increase by 6.3 percent. Okay, a 20 basis point increase from July 2023. The IMF's growth forecast for India is now consistent with the World Bank's projection, despite despite a 7.8 percent growth in Q1 2023. The annual growth rate is still lower than 6.5% projection by RBI's Monetary Policy Committee. About IMF, now this is again important for your prelims board. Okay, so the IMF ki hoi, jane, most probably that it was established in 1945. Okay, why? To promote global economic growth, financial stability, international trade, poverty reduction, etc. Initially, the <coughs> initially the, it was established to prevent currency devaluation by countries promoting exports, but it later became a last resort than the for the countries dealing 
with severe currency crisis okay so ultimately it yeah land error come for it okay but also it report uh, it publishes very important reports like what world economic output itself the global financial stability report etc and all of these are published twice a year okay when in months of april and october so twice a year publish okay Chalo. so logote eta amar yate duta ditho ase this go through it and try to clarify okay prelims facts so as a prelims fact jodi ami saw the interesting part so the union ministry of development of north east region has launched am donor data analytics dashboard okay data analytics dashboard so tene kara dashboard bunaise aro purvotar sampark setu okay purvotar sampark setu so this is a portal ultimately so it is a portal hoy okay <coughs> so a portal to particularly delhi kora hari korisile now it is particularly aimed at streamlining and improving monitoring of weekly visits. Okay, monitoring Koribo, weekly visit blacks a Koritaka Union Minister will like a Northeast region of He Bosto strictly monitor Koribo Garde, poor water, some parks set to more portal to lunch. Okay, now next prelim fact is about Holodomor. Holodomor. Holodomor ki hoy? Holodomor at a genocide of Waho. The Council of Europe's Parliamentary Assembly has declared the Holodomor famine, a man-made famine in Ukraine from 1932 to 1933. Okay, so it is a genocide. Okay, so as genocide about 3.9 million people were dead. Okay, so <clears throat> primarily among the rural farmers and villagers. Okay, so the famine was a part of a broader Soviet famine. Next spelling facts, our summer associated hoy. So let's be that best boy. Okay, so take a to birthday as which was on 14th, 14th of October 1864. So you have to it should be October, not November. Please <coughs> don't mind. So to 14th of October, it should be October. So Lakshminat Bezboro, an SMS poet, novelist, and playwright, was born on November 14, October 14, 1864. He was a literally literally stalwart during the Jonaki era. So Junaki era got up no janice. So ultimately he promote Korea's the romanticism. Okay. In SMS literature through essays, plays, fictions, poetry, and satire. Satires bully call it like comics and all. Okay. All of them comedy with. So he black comedy playwrights black take a lickis. Please black take a lickis. Lux Pinat Bedborough. And 14th of October 1864 is his birthday. Okay. So he was quite a personality for some. So it's very important to have a film fact about him. So this is our academic team. This is our content developing team and technical team. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much. Take care and study.